Our next guest is responsible for reshaping America. I mean that literally as uh, former of Weight Watchers International. And she has proved to be an inspiration to millions of uh, distressed overeaters. Author of Weight Watchers, Food Plan Diet Cookbook, here is Jean Neidich. And you were just reminding me about a show we did 17 years ago. Yes, in Philadelphia, Mike. And you know what was fascinating for me? I was so worried, and I was a nervous wreck. And then I get there, and Eartha Kitt was on the show. And this sweet lady, who's as big as a minute, you know how little she is, oh, and I dear. said, I went backstage, and I said, don't stand near me, darling. I've just lost 72 pounds, and you make me feel so fat. <laughs> and you know, she put on a great big moo-moo and came oh. out on the show in a big flowing gown. Was that your first My talk very show? first talk show ever. I'm and I, Oh, wonderful. and I love you for it, because That's I think lovely. you were my lucky break. That's great. I really do. Now, you no longer own a Weight Watchers That's right. International. That's right. Well, I sold true? it. Yeah, true. I sold it to Heinz, the ketchup people. Yeah, the food people. And it's Jean wonderful. Can relax now. Well, I now I'm enjoying it. Can I you tell us about the, the deal? Can, can oh, sure, about? sure. Oh, what is it in all the papers? Seventy-two million dollars. <gasps> can you is believe? Is there any correlation to that? Seventy-two million and seventy-two pounds. Well, somebody lost? must have thought that up. You know, I can't believe that. Good but please. what they did is they bought everybody's stock, Mike. I didn't get ah. seventy-two million. I just everybody who had stock. So hopefully you had some. You had a goodly portion. Of yes, that. I did. Yes, I did. Now, is Jean Knightage still working for Weight Watchers? I'm an employee of the company. Isn't that nice? Yes, yes, and I travel on behalf of the company. And may I tell you, I'm having a ball. I am enjoying it so much. We're entering our 20th year, this coming year, and I keep meeting people. And I was just telling the people in your company that every TV show has on its crew somebody whose mother lost weight. On my, your show, my, what? My, I just told you, my, my, yeah. my, one of my older daughters and her husband in Cleveland yes. are both uh, members yes. of Weight Watch. How many millions of people are members of we Weight Watch? We stopped Watchers? counting, my dear. They were in but 20, it's worldwide. 26 countries. And I can only tell you that one of the thrills, there's been so many in this in this 20-year period, but I was on a cruise. I've learned to, to enjoy travel, and I was on the QE2 on a world trip oh. on a holiday. Oh, I can't and we you got to, on those trips. Well, I didn't. I dance a lot. Good I want to tell you. Yes, and I have a wonderful time. And I take on lots of nice you gowns. You dance away from the dinner table? I do. <laughs> do you know I that I don't? It's a challenge for me. But we got to Fiji, the island of Fiji, can you imagine? And they had posters down at the bottom of the gangplank. Welcome to the Weight Watchers, lady. We're in Fiji, and I didn't know it. Isn't that, that's, that's kind of scary. Well, I couldn't believe it. They're Hello, wearing our really? pin on strings. You know, they don't even wear clothes, so they have to wear the, the Weight Watcher m medallion on strings around their neck. And Gee, they, how did it all start? <laughs> how did it all start? Is this an idea that just came No, through? I never thought about it, that it would be what it is. That's why I believe in, in just go, just go. When you have when you have an idea, just go. I love people, Mike. I've talked to That's people obvious. all my life. I used to sell eggs door to door before this. My aunt had a chicken farm in Lakewood, New Jersey. So, of course, I sold eggs, and it gave me an opportunity to ring a doorbell. And talk to and people. And say to the lady, your egg lady is here, and she'd invite me in for the coffee and the cake. And that's when I did all my eating. This is before Weight Watchers. <laughs> and up to 214 pounds worth. I had a lot of friends and sold a lot of eggs, but I ate a lot of cake, too. And then I met somebody who said to me, Jean, you look great. What do you do to have a baby? And I thought, my goodness, oh, I'm my not even goodness. pregnant. And I looked fat to this woman. And for me, it was a moment, you know, of, 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 of anger and, and, and worry and so forth. Did you go home and look at yourself? I in did. The well, I trudged home. I trudged home. I met her in a supermarket, and I called the Board of Health, New York City Board of Health, and I pleaded with them to give me an appointment to an obesity clinic. Now, everybody knows where to go for help. I knew it then, too. But I guess you have to be demoralized before you do something about it. That is demoralized when I think. Says well, like I that. think so. I've asked people, why do you join Weight Watchers? And a lady said to me, she went to visit her child at a school play, and she couldn't sit in the, in the seat in the school. You know, the school rooms are made for fat ladies. Well, for heaven's sakes, they're made for little kids. Exactly. So she stood too. up throughout the whole performance, and then she said, you know, when I went home, she said, I wanted to lose weight. So that was her reason. Some people have the moment of truth when they go into a phone booth. Now, your new book is, <laughs> is, is being billed, uh, The Definitive Weight Watchers Cookbook. Now, what makes your book uh, different 
than other Weight Watchers cookbooks. Well, this one is different for us. It's our eighth book, for one thing, and we've learned a lot over 20 years. We've now decided that you don't have to be a martyr to lose weight. The suffering, boring individual who says, oh, I can't attend your party, I'm dieting, or I can't eat that because I'm on a diet, doesn't have to be anymore. And you don't have to think of celery and carrot sticks in an effort to get thin, because everybody who does it that way can't wait to get off the diet to go back yeah. to getting fat. So we've discovered you can have wine, you can have popcorn, you can have peanut butter, you can have mm. beer, you can stir fry food, you can have cheesecake, you can have anything in the world. The difference is, you have to have it as a meal, not as a snack. Oh, I thought you were going to say you can't swallow it. No, you can swallow ah. it, but you can't eat it with a shovel anymore. <laughs> you got to use a fork, and you got to have it ah. in smaller portions. Smaller portions. Eat slower. Uh -huh. You know how hard it is to teach. Is that, wait, now is that important, eating slower? Oh, may I tell you. It is the most difficult thing in the world to teach people to put we, down the fork. We in this business eat very fast. Everybody eats fast, and they hold the fork. They never let go. They hold the sandwich while they're chewing. They take a bite and hold on for dear life. We're telling the world, put the fork down and chew and look around you and notice the wallpaper, notice the people you're eating with. And all of a sudden you'll discover you're not quite as hungry and you can lose weight. Wait 20 minutes, in fact, before you even think about ordering dessert, if you can wait those 20 minutes. Now, do you ever cheat? We don't call it cheating. What do you call it? Maintenance. I'm allowed to have anything and everything. The difference, Mike, is that I now remember it. I never in this world will ever say to anybody, I don't know why I gained weight. I never eat anything. I get fat from looking at food. That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> now we know it. Is, is it possible to be on Weight Watchers, on your plan, and still want to binge? Uh, I think it's possible to want anything. But I think those words are dangerous. Binge yeah. is a bad word. Uh, cheat is a bad word. Can't. We, don't, we teach people to say, I won't lose weight. Because won't, you see, is an interesting word. It could become, I will lose weight. People who say to me, I can't quit smoking. I usually tell them, this, why don't you say, I won't quit smoking? Because I gave it up. And I, well, why don't you pretend a doctor said, if you don't quit smoking, you're going to die? It's not always That'll enough. That'll do it every time. It's not always enough. I'm sorry to tell you. People come to Weight Watchers with dangerously high blood pressures, Mike. And they know that they're in serious health conditions. But the reason they join Weight Watchers very often is because they get an invitation to go to a wedding. And they want to look thin when they're being seen. Oh, the cool. ultimate bonus, the, resu the result and the reward is, my goodness, they got healthier. And everybody's always so surprised. I didn't expect to feel so great at this age. I mean, I, I'm, I'm celebrating a birthday. I'm 59. And I, I never felt better in my whole life. Well, that's wonderful. And I believe it's because of the way I'm eating. And I'm having a ball. <laughs> Please stay for our next guest. Thank you. you. My she pleasure. Nice. And our next guest happens to be Tim Matheson, who has a new series on CBS. And we'll join you.